Hey guys, it's Carrie. Lots of amazing sea animals today. Do you know that fish don't actually breathe water? They filter dissolved oxygen from it. Cooler seekers? These amphibians were top aquatic predators, similar to crocodiles today. They became extinct towards the end of the early Cretaceous when temperatures were rising and this gave crocodiles the opportunity to take over. Puffer fish can inflate into a ball shape to evade predators. They fill their elastic stomachs with huge amounts of water or air. Moray eel it has a very strong sense of smell and uses this strong sense of smell to find food or a spawning site. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Danosuchus, it has been estimated to have grown to about 11 metres in length and weighing 6 to 7 tonnes by far exceeding any modern alligator or crocodile. Spiny lobster can be easily distinguished from true lobsters by their very long thick spiny antennae and by the lack of chele or claws on the first four pairs of walking legs. Although the females of most species have a small claw on the fifth pair. Clawed lobster, they have long bodies with muscular tails and live in crevices or burrows on the sea floor. Three of their five pairs of legs have claws, including the first pair, which are usually much larger than the others. Lobsters are invertebrates with a hard protective exoskeleton. Like most arthropods, Lobsters must shed to grow, which does leave them vulnerable. During the shedding process, several species change colour. Although lobsters are largely bilaterally symmetrical, like most other arthropods, some genera possesses unequal specialised claws. Flying fish can make powerful self-propelled leaps out of the water where their long wing-like fins enable gliding for considerable distances above the water's surface. The main reason for this behaviour is thought to be to escape from underwater predators. Although these periods of flight do expose them to an attack by avian predators, the record for a flying fish being able to glide over the water is 45 seconds in flight. Spotted Eagle Ray? They are potentially dangerous to humans due to the venomous tail spines that can inflict serious wounds. Marbled Stingray? This ray is not generally aggressive but is known to be responsible for at least one human fatality, the infamous Steve Irwin, crocodile hunter. Cow nose ray, they are found lying on the bottom or above coral reefs in sheltered bays as well as out in open waters. They swim together to stir up the sediment which exposes the clams and oysters which they feed upon. Sometimes they are seen jumping out of the water and landing with a loud smack. Manta ray, they have no teeth or grinders no tail stinger but rely on speed to survive. They can also leap out of the water. They are identified by head fins which when rolled up look like horns and when unfurled they act like a funnel for the mouth. Blue spotted ray? They are bottom feeders. They settle themselves down over their prey trapping them against the substrate with their disc then flexing their disc flaps and manoeuvring the victims into their mouths. Most rays live in the sea, but some can be found in estuaries. As a form of defence, 
Rays have electric organs while others have venomous spines. Usually rays will swim out of harm's way if approached. However, they can give a nasty sting which could prove fatal. Never swim over the top of large rays. They think you are a predator and are likely to whip their tails in defence. Fish are cold-blooded, unlike us who are warm-blooded. There is an exception though. Tuna and mackerel sharks have warm blood like us. A fish's slimy scales helps them glide through the water more easily. Most fish don't have eyelids. The only fish that can blink is a shark. Sea turtle. Unlike other turtles, sea turtles cannot retract their flippers and head into their shells. Their streamlined shells and large paddle-shaped flippers make them very agile and graceful swimmers. In the water, their rear flippers are used as rudders for steering. The seven existing species of sea turtles are the flatback, green, hawksbill, leatherback, loggerhead, Kemp's Ridley and olive ridley sea turtles. Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. It has a triangular shaped head with a slightly hooked beak. Adults are generally a greyish green colour on top with a pale yellowish bottom shell. The hatchlings are darkly coloured on both sides. Each of the front flippers has one claw while the back flippers may have one or two. Leatherback turtle. It is the largest of all living turtles and the heaviest non-crocodilian reptile. Reaching lengths of up to 1.8 meters, which is nearly six feet, weighing 500 kilograms. They are easy to recognize. Instead of having a bony shell, their carapace is covered by oily flesh and flexible leather-like skin. Green sea turtle. They live part of their life in the open ocean and are most often encountered in shallow lagoons and coral reefs where they feed on sea sponges. red slider turtle. They have poor hearing but good vision and are very sensitive to vibrations. When startled or threatened, they will quickly slide off rocks or logs back into the water. Marine reptiles. These are the reptiles that can live in and around the seas. For example, sea turtles and saltwater crocodiles. Sea turtles have been alive since dinosaurs lived on our planet. Most sharks are cold-blooded, but some like the great white shark are warm-blooded. Megalodon, its bite force would have been five or six times more than a great white shark. Its jaw would span 2.7 to 3.4 meters wide easily big enough to swallow two adults side by side. These jaws were lined with 276 teeth. Sea star. Most have spiny skin and five arms, although some can grow as many as 50 arms. The arms are covered with pincer-like organs and suckers. Horseshoe crab is a hard-shelled invertebrate found on the seafloor in warmer, shallow coastal waters. It has a hard outer shell, five pairs of legs and a long thin tail which it uses for changing direction when swimming. It is actually not a crab and is more closely related to spiders and scorpions. 
Chastosaurus. It is an extinct genus of ichthyosaur that lived during the late Triassic period. It grew to 7 meters or 23 feet in length. Goblin shark. It has a distinctive shaped snout and an impressive array of long pointed teeth. It has a shovel like snout, flabby body and a tail with a weakly developed lower lobe. One of the distinctive features of the goblin shark is its protrusible mouth. The mouth can retract to a position under the eye or extend forward under the snout. When feeding, the goblin shark extends its jaws forward faster than any other species of shark to catch its prey. Prey would include bony fishes, squids and crustaceans. The underside of the snout has many pores that are external openings. There is electricity detecting organs here. The goblin shark most likely hunts its prey by detecting electric fields. Pleuroceros ammonite was a type of cephalopod that lived during the early Jurassic period. The most distinctive features of these creatures were their tightly coiled shells which featured prominent ridges and spikes. Ammonite? These mollusks are more closely related to living colloids, octopuses, squid and cuttlefish. Prevotoceros? They are an extinct genus of ammonite. They were fast-moving nectonic carnivores. Basilosaurus had primitive dentition and skull architecture. The rest of the slender elongated skeleton was well adapted to aquatic life. It attained a length of about 21 meters which is 70 feet with a skull alone as much as one and a half meters. Basilosaurus was common through the late Eocene seas. The primitive skull would have had a small brain. Basilisk was a mythological beast and said to have the power to cause death with a single glance. You can bend the basilisk into different shapes. According to legend, this snake was only 30 centimeters or 12 inches in length and it was so venomous, it leaves a wide trail of deadly venom in its wake and its gaze is likewise lethal. Weedy sea dragon? They are only found in Australian coastal waters. Although they appear to be seaweed, they are actually bony fish. Pipe fishes and seahorses are unique in that the male gives birth. The female deposits their eggs after fertilization into the male's brood pouch. Giant squid and some other large squid species maintain neutral buoyancy in seawater through an ammonium chloride solution which is found throughout their bodies and is lighter than seawater. Like other cephalopoda, squid are intelligent animals. Squids have a head-like structure with sense organs and brains in the front end. Although the squids lack exterior shells, they have a vestigial shell inside made of chitin, which is spelt C-H-I-T-I-N. Often the male will die a short time after mating and the female will die once she has released her eggs. Because of this, squids usually only lay eggs once. They do not live very long. Most of them live for only one or two years. All squid have a mouth with a radula and jet propulsion with the siphon from the mantle. The radula is a scraping organ in the mouth 
that scrapes nutrients from food sources. In Lasmosaurus, it is a genus of plesiosaur that lived in North America. It measured 10.3 meters in length. Elasmosaurus would have had a streamlined body with paddle-like limbs, a short tail, a small head and an extremely long neck. The neck alone was around 7.1 metres. The skull would have been slender and triangular with large fang-like teeth at the front and smaller teeth towards the back. Their long neck enabled them to approach a shoal of fish and stick their head in and pluck one out quickly. Tanistrophius, these marine reptiles grew up to 6 metres in length and had unique necks composed of 13 extremely elongated vertebrae and strut like ribs. Tanistrophius was not a fast swimmer, so often walked along the seabed and used its long neck to get within range of prey without being noticed. Hydrotherosaurus is an extinct genus of elasmosaurid plesiosaur from the Upper Cretaceous. It has one of the longest necks relative to total length. Tylosaurus is a genus of mosasaur, a large predatory marine reptile closely related to modern monitor lizards and to snakes. It lived during the late Cretaceous. It was one of the deadliest hunters of its time. It had a long snout and hinged jaws which gave it a fearsome bite. This marine reptile propelled itself through the water with its powerful flat tail and steered with its four paddle-like flippers. Its mouth was lined with rows of cone-shaped, razor-sharp teeth and this colossal creature was always ready to chomp. Marine reptiles are reptiles which have become secondarily adapted for an aquatic or semi-aquatic life in a marine environment. Some extant or living varieties are the sea turtles, sea snakes, marine iguana and the saltwater and American crocodiles. Some of the extinct marine reptiles became so well adapted to a marine lifestyle they were incapable of venturing onto the land and gave birth in the water. Living species such as sea turtles and saltwater crocodiles returned to shore to lay their eggs. Some marine reptiles also occasionally rest and bask on land. Of the 12,000 extant reptile species and subspecies, only about a hundred are classed as marine reptiles. Blue-ringed octopus, they are stunning. When they are alarmed, these animals will show off their eponymous iridescent blue rings that cover their body and arms. Baby octopus. Octopus are ocean creatures that are most famous for having eight arms and bulbous heads. They have three hearts and blue blood. They squirt ink to deter predators and being boneless, they can squeeze into or out of tight spaces. quite intelligent and have been observed using tools. Octopus have an excellent sense of touch. Their suckers have receptors that enable an octopus to taste what it is touching. The only hard part of their bodies is a sharp parrot-like beak that is on the underside where the arms converge. 
Octopus have powerful jaws and venomous saliva. When octopuses mate, they die soon after. Octopuses have cat-like tongues. It's called a radula and it's a tongue-like ribbon lined with rows of tiny teeth that are replaced as they wear down. Sally Lightfoot Crab, they have the ability to climb vertical slopes and exceptional agility. Blue Swimmer Crab, they are powerful swimmers and voracious hunters and scavengers. Crustaceans include crabs, lobsters, prawns, shrimp and crayfish. Lobsters have blue blood and they can live for over 100 years. Crayfish walk forward but swim backwards. Spiny lobsters are thought to be social animals and gather in groups of 12 or more. They migrate in long chains across the ocean floor, up to 50 lobsters at a time. Crocodile, the two species with the most well-known and documented reputation for preying on humans are the Nile crocodile and saltwater crocodile. Crocodiles have a unique body form that allows the eyes, ears and nostrils to be above the water surface while most of the animal is hidden below. The tail is long, strong and massive and the skin is thick and plated. A crocodile hatchling emerges from the egg with a length already of up to 30 centimetres or 12 inches. A young crocodile grows about 30 centimetres each year for the first four years. Frogfish, they are small, short and stocky and like this one covered in spinules and other appendages to aid in camouflage. Anglerfish, there's a light that emanates from the end of the fishing rod like extension on its forehead. It uses this surprising adaption to lure prey out of the dark and close enough for its razor sharp jaws to strike. Salmon are anadromous. They hatch in the shallow gravel beds of rivers. As an adult, they return to the sea and return to their freshwater birthplace to reproduce. Koi fish. They are a relatively small member of the carp family. They feed on benthic organisms and plants. Koi fish. In Japan, they stand for anything that's good. Luck, prosperity, vitality, and longevity. Their length is usually up to about 28 centimetres and they are found in brackish and fresh waters, drainage ditches, lakes and rivers. In many places they spread from Asia throughout the world. Large mouse bass, the upper jaw or maxilla of a large mouse bass extends beyond the rear margin of the orbit. That's where they get their name from. They feed on crustaceans, crayfish, fish and frogs. Piranha, they are aggressive predators that lurk in vegetation and ambush and chase prey. They sometimes work in groups to kill larger prey. 
clown triggerfish is a demersal marine fish. The head is large and represents approximately one third of the body length. The mouth is small, terminal and has strong teeth. Queen trigger fish, they are aggressively defensive of their territory and can inflict a strong bite, especially during the breeding season. It can change colour to match its surroundings or if subjected to stress. The queen trigger fish has a favourite food, sea urchins, which they turn over and attack from underneath where the spines are shorter. Let's talk about sharks. Sharks are fish that have skeletons made of cartilage rather than bone, making them lighter and more buoyant in water. Over millions of years, they have developed extraordinary senses to help navigate and detect prey. There are about 500 species of sharks in the world. Dugong, they are referred to as sea cows because they use their strong, cleft upper lips to graze on sea grasses. They eat both day and night, locating their food with the help of coarse, sensitive bristles on their upper lip. Manatees never leave the water but typically come up for air every five minutes. Their powerful tail fluke propels them through the water. The manatee has a large flexible prehensile upper lip used to gather food and eat and for social interaction and communication. Manatees have shorter snouts than the dugongs. Sea lion, they are part of the pinniped group that also includes seals and walruses, which is why sea lions and seals are often confused for the same species. However, an easy way to distinguish between the two is to observe how they stand and move on land. Sea lions have long flippers that they can stand on, while seals' flippers can barely reach the ground. Sea lions are predators. They consume large amounts of fish and help to regulate prey species populations. They are also prey, however, and serve as an important food source for large animals like great white sharks, hammerhead sharks, blue sharks, and killer whales. As they live both in water and on land, they also carry important nutrients from the ocean to the land fertilising the soil on which they rest. A baby fur seal. Spotted seal. Their preferred habitat is the edge of the pack ice in areas of loose flows while harbour seals avoid sea ice. Harp seal. Adults have pure black eyes. It has a silver grey fur covering its body with black harp or wishbone shaped markings dorsally. Another way to tell the difference between a sea lion and a seal is that only the sea lion with the longer flippers has visible ears. The main predator of seals are killer whales polar bears, leopard seals, large sharks, and of course humans. Mammals like sea lions, seals, and walruses are called penny pets as they have winged feet. Elephant seal, they take their name from the large proboscis of the adult male, reminiscent of an elephant's trunk and considered a secondary sexual characteristic. The bull's proboscis 
is used in producing extraordinarily loud roaring noises, especially during the mating season. Males display their dominance by showing their noses, making loud vocalizations and altering their postures. They fight each other by raising themselves and ramming each other with their chests and teeth. Best to keep your distance. Elephant seals can outrun a human on sand. Seahorse, they possess swim bladders to remain buoyant in the water and utilize their gills to breathe. They are unusual animals with their horse-shaped head eyes like a chameleon which can move independently and a prehensile tail. They use their elongated snouts to suck in plankton and small crustaceans. Blue sea dragon. They are pelagic. They float upside down by using the surface tension of the water to stay up where they are carried along by the winds and ocean currents. Polar bear. Because of the intensity of competition between adult males is significant, and since larger males are more likely to outcompete smaller ones for mating privileges, through natural selection over the longer term, adult males have evolved to be roughly double the size of females. They are found throughout the Arctic region. The polar bear travels long distances over vast desolate expanses, generally on drifting oceanic ice flows, searching for seals, its primary prey. Except for one subspecies of grizzly bear, the polar bear is the largest and most powerful carnivore on land. It has no natural predators and knows no fear of humans, making it an extremely dangerous animal. Their broad feet have hairy soles to protect and insulate as well as to facilitate movement across ice, as does the uneven skin on the soles of the feet, which helps to prevent slipping. They have strong, sharp claws, and this is important for gaining traction for digging through ice and for killing prey. Mosasaurus is a marine reptile that lived during the late Cretaceous. It had a streamlined body, an elongated tail ending with a downturn supporting a two-lobed fin and two pairs of flippers. Mosasaurus was part of a group of mosasaurs known as aquatic squamates. The largest discovered specimen of Mosasaurus had a length of up to 17 metres or 56 feet. Mosasaurus was a carnivorous aquatic hunter and their prey was most likely fish, other marine reptiles, birds, pterosaurs, smaller Mosasaurs and maybe even land dinosaurs. The teeth of a Mosasaurus were shaped like sharp spikes, allowing them to grip and hold on to slippery prey. Their double hinged jaw allowed Mosasaurus to swallow its prey whole. They spent most of their time near the ocean surface, much like modern whales, since they breathed air in a similar fashion. Pliosaurus had teeth that were triangular in cross section. Their diet would have included fish, cephalopods and other marine reptiles. Chronosaurus was a marine reptile, a pliosaur. It had an elongated head a short neck, a stiff body propelled by four flippers and a relatively short tail. Chronosaurus reached speeds of up to 40 miles per hour 
or 65 kilometers per hour. Their big teeth enabled it to crush the shells of the huge shellfish called ammonites that lived in the same sea and its sheer size meant that it could have eaten just about anything smaller than it, including other plesiosaurs and pliosaurs. It had a particularly large head and teeth that were roughly the same size and shape as a small banana. Its length is estimated to range from somewhere between 8 and 12 metres. The tail of the Kronosaurus is too short and tapered to be really useful in moving fast over a distance. Its short neck would have made any sudden movements of its head impossible, but its flippers were large and powerful enough to allow it to dart forward suddenly to capture its prey. It was more likely to lunge after its victims than chase them. Cuttlefish. When a shrimp or fish is in range, the cuttlefish aims and shoots out its two tentacles to seize its prey. They belong to the class Cephalopoda, which also includes squid, octopus and nautiluses. Giant cuttlefish. The giant Australian cuttlefish is the world's largest cuttlefish and like many other cephalopods, it is able to camouflage itself exceptionally well. Reef squid. They have long oval fins that extend along the edge of its mantle, giving them a superficial similarity to cuttlefish. Anomalocaris. It is distantly related to modern day arthropods, including crabs and lobsters. It didn't survive the mass extinction. It resembles a giant shrimp. It had no legs, but swam by flexing its segmented body and waving the flaps on its sides. Nautilus has the shell that protects it and acts as a buoyancy organ. They have survived relatively unchanged for hundreds of millions of years. Nautilus pompilius. It has a beautiful pearly shell inside. Cuparoceras was a genus of nautiloid cephalopod from the Permian period. It resembled a spiny ammonite. I'm going to talk about whales. They are fully aquatic, open ocean animals. They can feed, mate, give birth, suckle and raise their young at sea. They range in size from 2.6 metres to 29.9 metres. The sperm whale is the largest toothed predator on Earth. The blue whale is the largest known animal that has ever lived. Belemnite. They are an extinct order of squid-like cephalopods that existed from the late Triassic to late Cretaceous. Orthoceras was an ancient cephalopod that lived about 370 million years ago. The name means straight horn, referring to its long straight conical shell. Trilobite they are extinct marine arthropods and one of the earliest known groups of arthropods. Axis 
axolotl belongs to the salamander family. It has external gills. Humpback whale, they can grow to over 18 metres in length and live up to 90 years. Humpback whales have some of the longest migrations of any mammal with some populations swimming over 8,000 kilometres between breeding and feeding grounds. They filter feed for tiny krill or small pelagic fishes and are totally harmless to people. Blue whale, they have the largest penis on earth. An erect blue whale penis is 12 inches or 30 centimeters in diameter and 10 feet or three meters in length. It is fibroelastic like those of the blue whale's artiodactyl relatives. The retracted penis curves in an S-shaped loop and stays inside the body. When erect, it peeks out of the genital slit. Blue whales also have a distal spiral valve as a spermatic tube. Cetaceans do not have scrotums like terrestrial mammalian males do. Blood goes directly to the testes. The females have a long vulva and two nipples on each side. Liviatum is an extinct genus of macroreptorial sperm whale containing one known species. It had functional enamel coated teeth on the upper and lower jaws. Great white shark, like many other sharks, have rows of serrated teeth behind the main ones, ready to replace any that break off. When the shark bites, it shakes its head side to side, helping the teeth saw off large chunks of flesh. Great white sharks, like other mackerel sharks, have larger eyes than other shark species in proportion to their body size. The iris of the eye is a deep blue instead of black. Orca, it's also called the killer whale. It is a toothed whale belonging to the oceanic dolphin family of which it is the largest member. Megalardin, its teeth grew to 16 centimeters or 7 inches in length and it would have fed on large prehistoric whales. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and will always reply to your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.